I can talk to my Christmas tree and it responds with its lights. Would you ever... Is it snowing? Wait! I've always loved the Christmas vibe and everything around it, but I've also felt like Christmas lights have something trapped inside them. Like they don't just turn on and off randomly. So I decide to give them a chance. What I have on my mind is something like this. I ask my Christmas tree questions and it responds using its LED lights. To achieve this, I think I need three main components. First, a local LLM that will act as the consciousness of the tree. Second, the LEDs which the tree will use to communicate. And finally, an interface that connects me and the tree so we can talk to each other. Starting with the LLM, since I want this project to be compact, I don't want to plug a computer into the tree, so I need a tiny computer that I can place on the tree like a decoration. And it turns out Raspberry Pi is perfect for this. It is a tiny powerful computer which runs a full operating system from a micro SD card. Raspberry Pi has multiple versions, but I decide on using Raspberry Pi 4 because I both want to run an LLM, but also don't want to lose a lot of money if I burn this thing accidentally. <laughs> and I don't fully trust myself. That's why I set it up very carefully and slowly, which took me a lot. And then I just started testing LLMs out. Are you a... Christmas tree. Uh. This language model cannot accept that it's a Christmas tree. When I write like your strict tree class classifier, then I can get a response. Whenever I say you're a tree, then what happens? It is like really hard for her to embrace its tree identity. Are you Santa? <laughs> yes, I am. Are you a human? Maybe it draws a line here, like, no, I am a language model with blah, blah, blah type of thing. <sighs> okay, so in order to not have a problem with Raspberry Pi, but also get logical responses, I am going to try Gemma with 1 billion per meter. Yes, the time has come. Are you a Christmas tree? Yes! Let's try one more question. Is Santa real? Maybe! <gasps> let's try without expecting the model to only respond as yes, no or maybe. So let's say uh, you're a Christmas tree and you respond to the questions. Let's change the prompt to that. What do you like about... <gasps> I love watching families gather. From a tree's perspective, before I take away your ability to create sentences, your final words. Merry Christmas to you, let's sparkle. <laughs> okay, it's working. <laughs> Let's move on. Moving on to the LEDs. I have two goals. First, stabbing my cat from eating them up. Then wiring it up to my Raspberry Pi and reflect the LLM's output to the LEDs. For that, I need lights that can be controlled with data. And these are called addressable LEDs. Normal LEDs usually have one controller chip that controls the whole chain by turning it on and off. But in addressable LEDs, each LED has their own chips, three diodes that can be controlled with data. After quick research, I found that this is compatible with Raspberry Pi, so I ordered it and it looks like this. I need a way to power these LEDs up. And this is where I learn how electricity works. In order to power these LEDs, I need to wire this power and ground cable to a power source, which has to be 5 volts. Since I don't have 5 volts batteries right now, I started searching for things in the house where I can get these volts. And I came across to my charging cable. It was 5 volts, so I decided to get the ground and power cables from there. I cut off the other part, tore the USB side into pieces and cleaned the surroundings around the cable just to realize that USB-C cables are designed differently and the part I cut it out was the ground. So I kind of lost my cable for nothing. 
and realize that hardware project is not something I can click Control Z and take something back. Anyways, I ordered my battery holders and batteries and realized that this makes 6 volts in total. So I need to find something that will decrease the volts and it turns out there's a thing called buck converter which does that. Also while searching for these buck converter volts and everything I realized that if I didn't cut the USB part I could have actually used that cable. Anyways, now I have to learn how to solder and solder all of things together. But I'm starting to get a bit shaky, you know? I mean, I'm a little bit weak. So I soldered apart with buck converter, batteries and LEDs. At this point, I believe teaching a Christmas tree to speak would be even easier. At least for me. One final step which is connecting the cables of LED to Raspberry Pi. The code is ready, everything is ready, but now we're going to see if I can control with Raspberry Pi. <gasps> it's only 8 LEDs because I defined so. Let's make it 21. I know I said one final step because I forgot about the interface. Now the final final step. For this part I developed a flask cap which takes my question and delivers it to the tree. Now that everything is ready. It's time for me to set up the Christmas tree. I have the full trust on these leaves. Okay, let's start with the basics again. Are you a Christmas tree? Yes! Do you hate my cat? A kind Christmas tree. How do you feel about death? Purple is fear. She's having a panic attack. No, no. Let me just ask, how do you feel about me? Fear. I'm not a bad person. Or am I? How do you feel about Sam Altman? <laughs> My Christmas tree is mad at Sam Altman. Would you ever hurt me? Did you ever accidentally hurt me? I knew someday the thing I created would hurt me eventually. Is it moving? Am I? <laughs> One final question. How do you feel about being on my YouTube video? Disgusted. <laughs>